So today we'll be setting up the Dreamweaver workspace. We'll be defining the bootstrap layout grid and we'll also be creating a CSS uh, style page for our custom design. Let's launch Dreamweaver. First and foremost, I need to uh, create a new site. And again, you need to do this every time you start working on a new site so that all your links will be maintained within that website folder. I'm going to go ahead and search for my folder. Um, I'm a, I've already set this up on my desktop. It's a Death Valley Park uh, uh, folder. Inside of there I have my images and an assets folder. Here it is. Now I'm ready to set up my page. Um, make sure that you're working in beginner. This has all of the pertinent uh, tool sets that you'll need to streamline the process, the process for developing a responsive web page. Uh, so now what I need to do is create my page. I'll go to File in the Applications menu, hit New, and in New HTML you, you get two tabs. Typically it's None is selected. Make sure that you tab over to the Bootstrap uh, component page. Uh, we're going to be creating a new. Um, we'll also make sure that you uncheck, if it's checked, include a pre-built layout. Because we will be creating one uh, just with the Bootstrap components, we do not need a pre-built layout um, page. In Customize, we will be changing uh, some of these parameters um, to fit a smaller sized uh, uh, cell phone and things like that. So let's go ahead and change the screen uh, size here to 650. The medium will be 960. And then we'll leave the large at 1200. Also notice that we're working with 12 columns and gutter. Those are default for the Bootstrap grid system, so we'll leave those alone and then we'll hit create. Now when you when you do this uh, you'll see that you get several other files that will be attached. These are necessary in order for us to be able to create our bootstrap uh, layout. You'll see that I'm in split screen right now. Every document needs a document title, so at the bottom of your properties panel Let's go ahead and change that to the name of your website. And then we also need to save this page. So we'll file, save, and we'll name this index.html. Again, if you, you typically have a button here for site root. If you hit that, you'll, you're, you'll make sure that you actually are working in the site. And because I defined the site as a new site, it automatically goes to that root folder. Save. Now you'll notice in your Files panel, I'm going to hit this Refresh in order for those other folders that were created to show up. There they are. You'll see here that I have a CSS bootstrap that has a padlock on it. Now that's there because it's only it's a read-only file. So typically, I would recommend that you do not unlock that. Uh, that has all the responsive components that we need in order to be creating a responsive design. So leave that locked. What we'll need to do is create a, our own customizable CSS file. So let's do that next. Go to CSS Designer. We're going to add a source. Hit the source, create a new CSS. I'll browse for the location there. Again, I'm in the site root, and I want to place that inside of the CSS folder. I'll give that a name. I'll name it Valley, and it's going to give it an extension of CSS. Hit Save and OK. Now you'll see that I have a CSS 
Valley CSS attached to my document. Okay, now we're ready to move on to um, inserting our um, responsive design bootstrap components. So in the next video, I'll be showing you how to insert a nav bar.